All right, Drake Riggs here with Kayla Harrison. We just got done with the PFL 2021 World Championship Press Conference. Kayla, how was it up there? Did you have fun? Yeah, it was a good time. It's always a good time. Okay, of course. And I mean, I was also wanting to ask you to kick this off. Why is Twitter so wild? Man, I don't know. <laughs> There's just these people with these opinions and these like, I just can't, I can't, if, I, I don't understand this world that we live in where these people who have never dared to be great at anything in their lives feel have the audacity and the courage to comment on other people's choices and decisions and not even that they just comment on their like their looks or like they just say mean shit and i'm like dude wh how why what like is this really does that make you feel better like does that make you feel like a better person to, to do stuff like that i just can't believe it so twitter be wild man Definitely fair to say, and I mean, I imagine that you didn't have to deal with that much in judo, right? It was kind of no, these I mean, MMA people. Cares. Yeah. yeah, like in judo, what's that? You know, <laughs> like, no, MMA fans are, you can be better, MMA fans, you can be better. This is true. And I mean, I'm sure you've gotten some wrestling fan comments now, too. Is they, They've been I better. I like wrestling better. fans, yeah. They're like, wake, like, they flip you off if you're the heel, but then they're like, just kidding, I love you, you know? And I'm like, I love you, too. Um... No, but it was really cool to see, to go and see, like, when that Jericho guy walked out mm. and then they cut off his music and then the 20,000 people just sang his song to him. And I was like, damn, like, that <laughs> is, like, that's love, you know? You could not, I said this in another interview, but I was like, if you did that in an MMA crowd, they would just be like, woo, woo, <laughs> yeah, woo. So and I'd be like, what the, f you know? <laughs> so I was impressed with the wrestling fans. Yeah, they are definitely a very committed bunch and uh, is what it is, right? You got to love it. So you got the main event again, Kayla. I mean, is this something cool for you and special feeling or is it just like, you know, whatever? I go on last. I would like to maybe get out of the way sooner, but honor. It's an honor, right? I usually go to bed at 9 p.m. So that <laughs> earlier <laughs> slot wouldn't be. No, I would throw an absolute shit fit if I wasn't last. No, I'm just kidding. Um... No, it's an honor for me. You know, obviously this is a, a card of champions and there's, you know, every fight is a main event. Every fight is a title fight or, or, or a, a young up and coming fighter or a former champion, you know, so it's it's exciting for me. It's, it's an honor for me. And I consider myself the face of PFL for at least 28 more days. So uh, I better be the main event. It's my job to carry this flag, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And it's funny because last time we did catch up at the gym, Kayla, we were expecting Larissa Pacheco, you know, trilogy I to know, happen. So I know. I'm curious, just what did you make and think of, you know, her missing out now um, after talking all that shit? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think that that's just an experience, you know, that just comes with um, being young. And, and, you know, I feel very fortunate that I did have the judo career that I had because I, like I was saying earlier, I have, I've already, you know, I've already had all my fuck ups. Like I've already, you know, taken opponents lightly and I've already mm -hmm. missed weight and I've already like missed the flight and missed the tournament and I've washed my passport and like, I've already done all of <laughs> yeah. this dumb stuff that you can do. And that's not going to happen to me in my MMA career. So I'm, I'm happy that I, <laughs> Got it out of the, Got way. Out of the yeah. way, like not in the public eye. <laughs> <laughs> right, because those damn fans would have eaten you alive. <laughs> but instead, now we got Taylor Gardado. Yeah. Just, I mean, what do you think of her? It's a pretty crazy story when you think about, like, she had, like, three pro fights, mm -hmm. and now the opportunity at a mm -hmm. million dollars, not going to say, you know, she'll win or anything, but just what do you think of her as an opponent? Absolutely. You know, I know she had a really good amateur career. I think her only loss was to Ronda. Um, and I have a lot of respect for her. She's been an underdog pretty much since the beginning of the season, kind of flying under the radar, but found a way, you know, persevered. And, and I have a lot of respect for that. And I have a lot of respect for her as a mom, you know, and training full time, being a fighter, you know, making the most of an opportunity that's given to her, you know, more power to her. And I think it's super badass. And I look forward to sharing the cage with her. And also sharing the card with Clarissa Shields. Is that kind of a cool thing? Yeah, for sure. I think, um, again, another you know, strong, confident, badass woman who, who isn't afraid to, to go out there and dare to be great. And I have the utmost respect for Clarissa and, I, and I'm excited for it. It's, it's going to be a great night of fights. You know, there, everyone, I'm, I'm excited to, sh to share the, the night with all of the fighters, you know, all of the champs, all of the, the hopeful champs, all of the former champs trying to, you know, repeat, like everyone is just, everyone's worked hard to get here and it's, it's a special night. And 
I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be fun for sure. And I got to do some technique talk with you, Kayla, because oh, okay. a lot of people ask me to, uh, you know, get some technique talk from you. Okay. And Kazushi in particular, right? Yeah. Do you think this is a future trend that we'll see more in MMA? I mean, obviously you utilize it, but or, or is it mainly just going to be stuck in judo? Or do you think we'll see that transition more? Kazushi, like off balancing yes. your opponents? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think it's huge. And, and number one place that I use Kazushi is in wall grappling, mm -hmm. like against the cage. So I think that that's, I mean, that's how I get everyone down pretty much is using Kazushi, um, which just means the off, the off balancing of your know. opponent. So like in judo, if you had the gi to pull and lift them up and get them on their tiptoes would be the Kazushi. Um, for a specific throw. And in MMA, you know, I use the Kazushi as like if I have around their hip or if I have an underhook or if I have an overhook, just like a quick snap or whatever um, to get them a little bit off balance to, to maybe do a trip or a foot sweep or a big throw, whatever it may be. Um, but I mean, I think, you know, the, the wall trips and things like that are going to become more and more popular just because it's so hard to, to get in on a double. Everyone's wrestling's getting so good. So I think for sure you'll, sl you'll sl start to see more and more of it. All right, there you heard it there from the Kazushi Queen herself. We're gonna get a new nickname <laughs> for you. Queen. It's got okay, a good good like ring it. to it. <laughs> but since we also last talked, Kayla, you spoke to a good buddy of mine, Shaquille Majori, mm -hmm. um, and you told him life changing money to stay with the PFL, mm -hmm. right? If I'm remembering the quote correctly. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious. I don't remember if he asked, but how much is life changing money? <laughs> if we could put that a number. is a number between me and my life. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, Fair enough. that's nobody's <laughs> business. How much money do you make? I know. I don't um, <laughs> yeah. I right. want to be, you know, that's, yeah, that's personal. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. I had to ask. But Kayla, as you're so good at so many things now, judo, MMA, Thank wrestling, you. are there any other sports that you're really good at? Uh, I mean, I'm good at everything I do. I just try to be the best at everything, whether it's washing the dishes or, you know, kickball with my kids on Sunday, mm -hmm. you know, when we go at five o'clock to play all the other families, like <laughs> I'm just trying to kick the shit out of that ball. <laughs> Very um, yeah, <laughs> but no, no, there's no hidden talents of mine. I'm not, I'm not like a phenom. You're a big anything. volleyballer or nothing? <laughs> I mean, Water I'll polo. play it. Yeah. Spike ball. I like spike ball. Great game, yes. Um, no, that's it. All right, that's very it. cool. Nothing, I mean, nothing super. I spend a lot of my time in the gym, so I don't really have any fun sports I do. <laughs> I'll tell you what I don't like is soccer. I am not cut out oh, yeah. to be a soccer mom. God bless those kids, <laughs> but it's, whew, have you ever watched third grade, third graders who've never played soccer before play mm -mm, soccer? Mm -mm. <sighs> Tough. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, a good way to spend an hour, you know, no, don't kick her, <laughs> kick the ball, <laughs> spread out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I don't even know the rules of soccer, yeah, so I just sound the insane. Ball in the net. I'm like, get her, Kyla, <laughs> throw the elbow. No, I don't say that. I don't say <laughs> like, that. This I would crazy. never do that. I'm right. just like, good job, honey. <laughs> Dude, she got smacked in the head. Uh, she got she got the ball in her face the other day at, at, at a game. And, like, of course, my initial reaction was like, <gasps> you know, like, oh, no. I panic. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, oh, my God, is she okay? Is she like, she please don't be pissed. bleeding. Like, if there's blood, <laughs> like, it's going to be, you know, that's right. the end of soccer. Mm -hmm. um, but she started crying, and I walked over, and she was like, it hurts so bad. And I was like, you know, I understand it hurts. Let me see. <laughs> let me give it a kiss. You got to get back mm. out there, Kyla. You know, you got to get back out there. You don't want to be afraid of the ball. You got to go be the ball. You know, be the ball. Kick the ball. See the ball. Be the mm. ball. And that, you know, that little tiger went back out there. So that was a really proud mom <laughs> moment for me. That is a great yeah. moment. So it's funny, Kayla. We just mentioned all these sports and all these other things, though, and things that, you know, maybe, you know, having no fun or whatever. But I got to do a throwback because I also spoke to uh, uh, Kyoji about it. Uh -huh. The time you guys went fishing. I don't know if you've gone multiple times with uh, him. Oh, yeah. We've been a couple times. Okay. We've been fishing. But I mean, we went to that? the Bahamas. Yeah. Oh, wow. Dan. Yeah, dude. He's got a boat, right? Yeah, sometimes like the life I live, I'm just like, oh yeah, we took the private jet down to the Bahamas and we went fishing for a blue marlin for three days, like on so the specific. yacht that's yeah. a fishing boat. And I'm like, oh my, like, <laughs> yeah. So that was a lot of fun. But Kyoji, did he tell you? He was sick the whole time. Oh really? Oh my god, this him and Mike Brown were in the in the of course he didn't tell me inside that. part oh yeah i'm gonna talk all the shit he they were inside and they were just like Ugh, the whole time i caught the biggest fish and the most oh, fish wow. steve mako you know what's up um 
but yeah, Kyoji was sick. He did he did come out and like fish right. a little bit, but he he gets seasick, dude. We've been a couple so times. Funny. He gets seasick. He yeah. likes just fishing from the right. from the shore, but he's actually a really good fisherman. I'm not gonna lie, he's he's talented. Yes, he is. All right, Kayla, we can leave it there. Always okay. fun. Thanks so much for catching up, and you know, best of luck in the finals. Can't wait to see it. Thank you so much. Good My pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> oh hey, you made it to the end. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you like this video and want to see more like it, give it a like and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Until then, we'll see you next time.